Hello, my name is Mary. In today's video, I will show you the easiest way to design the search results bar using our Jet Search plugin. In case you are new to our channel, do not forget to subscribe, like this video, and hit the bell so you'll get all new notifications from our channel. For today's video, I will use a dynamic template only books a commerce bookstore template for Elementor. Our dynamic template is perfect for a bookstore, very easy to edit and great to use. The demo also includes a full set of products that you can see on the demo version of the template. Looking through the header, we can notice a search bar that will help our customers find the products or posts they need. For example, a client wants to find the secret life of groceries paper book. As soon as we start typing our query, we immediately see the result window appear. But what if you would like it to look different, to change the color or the size of the See All Results button? We already have a styled and customized results area and I'll be happy to show you how to customize it yourself or your website using our Jet Search plugin. For the search to be successful, of course, we need posts and products, depending on what we are going to search for on our website. Since I have books, my choice is products. To check if you have any, go to products in your WordPress dashboard. With our Jet Search plugin, you can easily change the search area settings to customize it exactly the way you need for your site. To edit the search bar, go to the Crocker block to Theme Builder on your WordPress admin dashboard. Here you can choose the header that has a search bar. Click on Edit with Elementor. To insert the widget with the search bar, start to type search in the search widget bar. Select the Ajax widget to create the search section we need. Drag and drop the Ajax search widget. Now you can customize it using the Elementor tab. Since I will be using the search bar that we already have in the header, we can safely delete this one. In this section, we'll make the Ajax search widget look a lot more sophisticated and stylish for ourselves. It will help your customer to find out their request quickly and without any difficulties. If we go to Content to Results Area tab, we are able to choose the width under Results Area Width by the whole search form, so it will look like this. By input box and categories list so that it will match in size with these sections. Or choose custom to adjust the width by yourself. I will choose a search form for my website. I want to add to the search results not only the description of the product, its price and title, but also the image of the book, so I choose to show post thumbnail. The image will be pulled from the product's file. Thumbnail size and placeholder allow us to choose the appropriate size of the image and choose a placeholder. As for me, the medium size is the best for the search bar. As for the post content source, you can specify if it's a post content, post excerpt and custom field. For me, it is a post content. The bigger the number of post content lengths, the more characters will be displayed. We can set zero to hide the description. If we set it to 10, the description will be super short. In my opinion, 30 looks better for a book description. I want the price of the product to be shown, but I don't need the rating for my search bar results, so I choose to show the price but not the rating. I activate the show results counter, as I want my clients to see the number of results found. Here you can also change the results counter text. 
you can activate or deactivate the Show All Results button and change the text for it. I want to change it to See All. Now we can see the Results Counter button and the Show All Results button here. I would like all results to be open in a new tab, so I switch on the Show Results in New Tab setting. Results navigation allows us to choose the location of navigation arrows, bullet and number pagination and specify if they will be hidden or shown in the header or footer. Also, I will hide the number of the pagination. I want the navigation arrows to show in the header. With navigation arrows type, I can choose the arrows type from the available option. Angle type looks great to me. We are done with the functionality settings and now we can move on to the style one. With the results area we can change the gap. I will change it to 10. Set a background color. I want it to be without background color so I choose clear the color. Add a box shadow. Border type and change the border radius. Under results header and results footer, we can change their width to change their appearance very easily. We can enable scrolling and set up all necessary settings for this such as max height, scroll bar color and scroll bar thumb color. In the style results counter tab, you can change the description about the number of results. I will change the color for normal and hover state. I'll remove the border so the result area doesn't look too messy. Now let's move on to editing the view all results button. To resize the text, I go to Typography, where we can change the font, for example, and change the text size. Let's change the color to black. I will change the hover state text color either. We can try any border type for this button as well. Open the navigation arrows tab to change the size for arrows, their color and location. I would like to change the size to make it smaller and change the color to black and the background color to dark red. Let's change the color for a hover state. Using the Spinner tab, we can change the color of the spinner that spins while the search results are loading. I will use blue for this. Do not forget to click on Update when finished. Hope it was helpful for you! Do not forget to join our social network pages, such as Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. See ya!